Alright, just got home and found out it's going to start raining as it already is. And I figured I'd go ahead and get this tent set up real quick for a weekend night in the backyard. So I have not tested this in the rain and I will this evening. Alright. Uh, last night it got stuck right there so um, got caught on the zipper so last night it rained for about a uh, good six hours straight it was hard rain um, this part right here that's just that came from the, the rain fly there so all right let's see here Let's test this out. Basically one hand. I brought uh, some paper towels. Hopefully. A little bit of condensation, but also uh, not much at all. No puddles, no nothing. Uh, more up here. Well, actually, no, there's no puddles, this condensation. No condensation whatsoever. I'm sorry, not. There's condensation, there's no puddles, there's no leaks. Which is nice. Kind of like the bathtub style here. As you can hear, it's it's raining again. And all these little needles that you see are beneath the uh, the tent on the can of, I'm sorry on the footprint the other entrance over there so tonight it's supposed to rain again I'm gonna let it sit out here all day and my girlfriend and I we're gonna test it out for our big hike I'm liking it even with a little bit of condensation I'm not sure if you can tell. The reason why it's dirty because I got in here and from the shoes and whatnot. Uh, gosh, barely anything on that. I'm not sure if you can really tell. But there's hardly any condensation. No leaks. No nothing. And it's still raining. But as you can tell. The Tyvek sheet as as the footprint. It's sticking out from the sides, especially back on the other side there. And even with the Tyvek sheet hanging out, no water really got underneath or in between the tent and the footprint. And it was it was raining pretty hard last night for a good five hours straight. Um, as you can tell, this back down. These things right here, even with one hand, it's pretty decent, but it, it can get caught in the zipper there. But, uh, step back here. 
at uh, an angle the, the ground kind of is higher to the right and slopes down to the left um, it's March 13th 2015 so as you can tell the Tyvek sheet definitely hanging out so I'm gonna have to cut it and do it again but the big Agnes footprint that's supposed to be for this tent is seventy dollars uh, no thank you went on eBay picked up a Tyvek sheet custom fitted for 20 bucks and it definitely has that crinkling noise when you first get it but I threw it in the washing machine on cold and put it on regular cycle once it was finished there was a huge difference it was nice and soft it's nice and soft it doesn't have that crinkling sound as it first comes out it's extremely wet right there just because it's sticking out duh but again I'm uh, repeat myself here it's I just need to custom fit this again a little bit further so I like this tent a lot and tonight I'm supposed to get down into the 40s and rain so I'm gonna test out my gear so all right All right, so earlier came out this morning about 9.30 a.m. And it is now 4.30. It's been raining all day long. So let's see how this tent is holding up here. Set that to the side there. Uh, starting to kind of drip right there, but let's see how it's doing in here. Oh, yeah, brought another big down here. No condensation, uh, just drips because I open it up. Okay. So from 9.30 a.m. this morning until about 4.40, it has rained all day long. The backyard is flooded, and as you can tell by the paper towel, there's just a tad bit of moisture, if any, just in the corners, but it is dry in the center. It's great. I'm loving this. As you can tell over here, there's no leaks up in the corners. There's none whatsoever. It's great. Here in a few hours, we'll be out here camping. As you can tell, it's still raining, but it's lightened up a lot. And all these pine needles that you see are underneath the tent. Wow. All right. This time I'm going to zip it back up.
put this over so it doesn't get caught. Little Velcros here. Alright. Good morning. Well, this is the last part of the video. This tent is ready to be taken into the backwoods some backyard camping uh, been testing it out in different weather conditions and I wanted to make sure before we go into the backwoods or backcountry we're not going to have any issues and there may be a few issues but as of right now there are none um, it rained quite a bit yesterday even the night before um, high winds last night even a little somewhat this morning um, I'm sleeping in the Big Agnes copper spur uh, ultralight two-person tent um, have a little mini lantern above me here um, girlfriend went inside to do a little bit of breakfast it's about seven o'clock in the morning we've been out here for uh, we got out here quarter to, to 10 last night, so <clears throat> about a good nine hours, I believe it is. Uh, the temperatures were in the 60s, and it dipped down into the 50s a little bit. Um, my girlfriend's sleeping bag is the REI Jewel. She has the long version. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I don't think you can. <clears throat> and mine's the REI Igneo. I'm sorry, the REI Jewel, which is really nice. Goes down into the 20s. She has the Thermarest pillow and the uh, Big Agnes Q Core insulated sleeping pad, which, as you can tell, it deflated a little bit because it's cold out here. So, but not enough that you're sleeping on the ground. It's three and a half inches. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, three and a half inches. And then I slept on the four inches. It's supposed to be the other way around. She was supposed to have the four. I was supposed to have three and a half. But she had no pain. I had no pain. I had a little lower back pain because I've been out on the sleeping pad for going on almost nine hours that's quite a bit um, stayed extremely warm I'm wearing smart wool base layer uh, 250 and so is she we never zipped up the sleeping bags um, even when we got into the 50s um, we never had the sleeping bags as a matter of fact I slept with the sleeping bag open it got really warm and my sleeping pillow is the Sea to Summit. I think it's the Arrows. Got all this stuff from REI. I think that was, this was 46 at REI. 46 at REI. And I think this was like 26. The Thermarest pillow. She loves the Thermarest pillow. Um, when you first get it, um, it's kind of con condensed down, so just open it up, unfold it, and let it breathe, and it will fluff right back up. So, but anyway, we both have the Big Agnes Q Core insulated sleeping pads. So, until next time, it was a lot of fun.